Okay, so welcome back. We're going to be continuing with the validation of the data that we're posting in the registration form. Uh, so let's go down to the next line and create a new if statement. We're going to be doing lots of if statements one after another. Um, and this one now, we're going to check the password length. So we're going to check essentially that it's greater than a certain amount of characters. And this is going to give us some kind of control over users' uh, password length and to make sure they're not sort of just A on the keyboard or, or something like that. So we'll say if, and I'll condition in here is going to be that the password's string length is greater than six. So I'm going to use the strlen function and I'm going to wrap post password in this. And I'm going to say, is this greater than six? Uh, we could say greater than or equal to, it just depends on you know how strong you want to be. You could say 10, you know, th this could be absolutely anything. Um, so there we are. Now the reason I'm not checking the password again field as well is um, because uh, we are we're going to be checking the passwords um, the passwords match anyway. So as long as the user has entered say an eight character password in the password field, then they go to the password again. Even if they enter an eight uh, a four character, we will still get the um, we'll still get the uh, your password's not strong enough error but we'll also get no sorry we won't get the passwords your password isn't strong enough error but we'll get your passwords need to match so they'll need to make a change anyway so just thinking about it logically we don't really need to do that I mean you're more than welcome to do if you want but it's uh, not required here so if the password is uh, oh sorry we need to say is the password less than or equal to six characters. So if it's less than six characters, uh, I'm gonna say your password must be at least six characters. Okay, so um, you also may want to um, uh, set an upper limit on this, so you might not want the password to be, you know, uh, I don't know, greater than 30 characters or something like that. And you could do this with all the fields as well. It's probably recommended, in fact. So I'm not going to do it here, but uh, you might want to go ahead and add an and and then say, and the string length is less than 30 characters, for example. So uh, there we go. OK, so what do we want to do now? Well, uh, we want to check the password and uh, essentially check it against the second password that's been entered, so password and password again. So I'm going to say if, I'm going to say dollar underscore post password doesn't equal, so is not equal to password again. And if it's not, we can just go ahead and say error your passwords do not match and that's it simple as that okay so now what we want to do is we want to check whether the email address exists um, uh, just a thought as well um, the the username that we're we're posting or allowing the user to post can actually include spaces um, it would probably be a good idea not to allow spaces within usernames um, however it depends on you know how specific you want to be. So let's go ahead and add in a function that checks uh, the amount of, well, if any spaces are within the username. So I'm going to say uh, another if, obviously. I'm going to be using preg match, uh, which is essentially a regular, regular expression match. Um, and this takes a regular expression. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with regular expressions, go and look them up. Uh, I'll give you a, well, try and get a quick overview. Uh, and we're going to be using a regular expression to check whether there is one or more spaces. So a user could have five spaces or just one space. We want to check any amount of spaces between uh, or within this username. So um, we say uh, pregmatch matches how it should be pronounced. Uh, if this equals to true. Now when will it equal to true? Well, we need to supply a regular expression and we need to supply the field, uh, the, the variable that we're checking. And in this case, it's post username. So the regular expression, well we need a forward slash and a forward slash, our uh, re a regular expression contents if you like go inside of here. Um, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say um, a double backslash and an S. So this is basically checking for any amount of spaces 
uh, within. So if uh, we do have any spaces, one or more, we are going ahead and echo a uh, message. Your username must not contain any spaces. Okay, so let's go ahead and just test this out. Uh, remember, we've created the, uh, the the condition here as well that the password must match and be greater than six characters. So let's just test these all out. I'm going to go ahead and enter Alex uh, Garrett with a space. In fact, let's give it five spaces. I'm going to enter password, password, and then pass. Um, and I'm going to enter just my first name and my email address. So click register. Uh, your passwords do not match. So we have this uh, this problem here. In fact, I actually I think that Alex Garrett password and pass Alex. This is an annoying thing about testing these, having to fill them out constantly. So um, um, we need to change this to double equals, I believe, because it won't be returning. Uh, I'll speak about that in just a moment. Uh, this is just one of the things with uh, with filling, obviously filling forms out it just takes a while so um, let's say password and I'll type pass and I'll give my first name email address again register okay so now we've got your username must contain and uh, must not contain any spaces now let's go ahead and check out why I needed this double equals as opposed to triple equals uh, obviously a triple equals te checks for type checking as well it doesn't just check um, the the value so for example one will be equal to true because uh, and zero will be equal to false uh, in this case if I was to go ahead and uh, use var dump on this here uh, in fact uh, how can we do this uh, yeah let's just go var dump this so when I refresh oops um, Okay, we're not going to be able to dump that. So let's just dump a uh, regular expression. And I'm going to go ahead and say regular expression equals this. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, uh, and refresh the page. Okay, so here we go. We've got um, int1 has been returned. That's the point I was trying to make. Uh, what's happened here is uh, this function, this this preg match function, has returned one. So we could, in fact, say triple equals one. Um, no, we'll keep it as it, double equals true. So essentially, we're just uh, checking this for true, i.e., it contain you know it's returned a value, um, a positive integer, uh, and therefore we know that there are spaces. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on before we waste any more time. Um, so we've done that, uh, we've checked the password and that the pa passwords match. Let's go ahead and fill the form in properly, uh, just very, very quickly. So I'm going to give a username Alex underscore Garrett, which hasn't been taken. Password, I'm literally just typing the text password. I'll give a first name and an email address. And when I click register, um, ooh, your passwords do not match. Um, Okay, maybe that was just a typo on my part. So Alex underscore Garrett, password, password, Alex and email address. Yeah, there we go. So we've, we've not returned any errors now within this array. So um, let's go ahead and leave that there. In the next part, we'll, we'll return to some more validation. I know this has run over slightly just because I have um, been writing code that you know doesn't make sense in in an attempt to explain my examples but let's go ahead and move on from this uh, in the next part and, and continue to um, you know write out some some of these conditions and get this over and done with